literally takes his hands off the keyboard there and kills me. At, no, like, actually. Presses ghost, right clicks me, takes his hands off the keyboard. Probably looks to play a little bit back early. First blood. If I can set up a three wave crash, I absolutely will. Ah, fuck it, I'll just do wave crash it. I'll two wave crash it, we'll get rid of the tentacles. I missed a lot of CS there, holy fuck. I mean, we don't see G4 here, so he's probably like done level three bot. I am your word. Like if I had to guess. I'm just gonna get him to shove into me. So for Alawi, you can fight her in the the very early game. Once she gets like two items, like she can actually fuck you up. Like unless you've already built that uh that lead. Or here. I wanna be in a good position. To fight over her scuttle. So I'm gonna be thinning out these minions as much as possible. Oh my god. A CS is actually so tragic. He's trying to angle for an E after he clears one of the minions. Uh, G4 is just stronger than Dinah early. He doesn't have tentacles set up here, although we just saw J4 topside. Probably just take the all in. Lethal is pretty fucking OP early. Champ is so talentless. So we see J4 here. An ally has been slain. I think G4, like, probably is only bail out there once I have the wave controlled like that, was to have G4 bail him out. I didn't see where G4 exited. I think he exited bot side, but be wrong. I am your word. I was looking to go pull the wave, but, I mean, my objective's was just to get the wave crashed in, right? Which I did. Here I can grab team out, we can just shove. So he's got double cloth armor, makes it very hard for me to uh, kill him from this point. Unless, you know, maybe we get jungle gank or something. So he's taking a reset, maybe he's got warden's mail, maybe he buys boots. I'm destroying T1. I mean, being fair to Tower, though, I mean, doesn't Trinmir just, just kind of destroy Alawi in general? At least early. You know, we'll see if I can outplay him when it comes, uh, you know, when it's actually more of an even matchup, but early I've got a huge advantage. Enemy killing spree. That was actually such good E. I have no idea how you fucking ripped me there.
even though I have TMI, I don't have to, like, hard shove. I'm guaranteed to take this damage, so I might as well, like, get some of the wave crashed. Hit by both those. He saw his flash, right? I pretty much have to flash there. Not doing a good job dodging tentacles. Let's see, does G4 come up top? Oh, we'll scout for him. Yeah. By Zerks. I need the move speed to dodge his tentacles, man. Man, fuck. Early armor is so strong against Trin, man, because I just do all physical. in a position where I can maybe proxy from here. That was his ult for mine. Got this. Over here, since action could be coming. HP up. Love his mana gone too. Okay, maybe we can look for a kill now. He does have flash advantage. We gotta keep that in mind. A vault. He can't chase this. I can take a reset here. Only thing that fucked me up, action room. So we can set up uh, maybe another turret destruction. So he's just now clearing the wave. So he's just not going to be recalling. So we're going to force oh, either a TP. Or if he doesn't teleport, then we'll be able to get a demolish into the plate because our demolish should be off cooldown. Actually, it's fucking huge. See, he does TP. So we can shove proxy. Don't want to fight him right now. I 
I mean, that was honestly a pretty good trade. Gotta keep track of back jam. Wow. It's actually an angle to get a free tentacle hit there. Holy fuck. That's some pretty good damage. And action's like playing towards bottom. with my hole breaker set up. Sound pretty good. Bro, this champ is retarded. Gotta be careful. G4 was topside. Maybe he went back towards bottom. Not sure. We have five grubs. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not even gonna shove next because I don't want to die at G4. So, mid lane's super far behind. This action is a fucking monster. I think because he has the scoundrel thing, he gets vision on my location, kind of like work, right? So we have to be careful. So we're going the hole breaker, strike breaker setup, like zero crit trend, and try to just demolish turrets. An ally has been slain. Ah, uh, Cinder got a lot from the action room. So we did get five grubs, but we traded our bot lane shutdown to the action for it. Not the best. You do have a lot of peel. coming top for this. As you wish. Okay, G Force top side. He's got red, he's going to Krugs hundred percent. He could just be sitting here with his E available, you know. I'll hit this. Look for any vision. Ah, uh, I still hit it. Eh, might as well crit the weapon. immediately. If I can get him to hit my wave. I guess I have a tentacle to hit my wave so I'm actually shoves it. Okay, it looks like he backed up. Someone even. Oh, 
We don't have ghost yet, so I just I don't, I don't feel comfortable trying to dive this guy without ghost. So the reason I hold this is just to allow the next wave to come up outside of his turret so I can actually get it. To go back top, although it could be going for the turret if I leave it. Not take that. It's gonna take any farm I can get. Okay, so we see Cinder back in here. Maybe Axiom could even be looking for us at this point. I could trade, like, the only way I can fight Alawi is if she fights up here randomly. But, uh, Tyler's doing a pretty good job of just kind of farming here as I shove in. I'm guaranteed shove in with team up. Uh, so go stride. That way I have a better chance of trying to kill this idiot. If we can get this shut down, it's fucking huge. And then we have Yemeni covering this. It's actually getting good pressure. Fucking huge. I'm gonna shove up mid. I got no HP. I still want to pressure the map. My bot lane can get this for free. Yemeni's matching top. I mean, the guy's 0 and 4. He's useless. We'll put him against the Alawi. He's also kind of useless at this point. When Alawi gets items, she can be a fucking monster, but for now. Tyler just can't do shit. Say fuck this, go turn. I mean, we got five grubs, right? I mean, if, if I see an open wave, I'm absolutely gonna take turret. The whole point of this build is to set like turret pressure like this. If they leave me for a second, I just get to go gates. We're breaching. Speaking of breaching, we're gonna build the ultimate breach item, Cold Burker. Since I don't have sums, I'm just gonna go against the Lowie. If if I have Ghost up, I'm 100% down to just run the action down. No sums, I don't want to fight this guy. Like if he has Flash, or you know maybe I don't block his shit, then that's something really bad. 
I don't know, man. This guy's gonna check for it. This'll be a slaughter. Wild soul. Good dragon. Somehow he pulled me up all that. Ends up being fine. AB actually might go on me thinking I have no ult. Like he might greed. Actually, it probably is no fine. There's no reason to ego this kill, actually. I could try to go for a kill in action, but it doesn't really accomplish anything. And if I die, then we give up Baron and just fucking throw a lead. Uh, I have Hole Breaker. I'm just gonna push this in, bring action, and then resetting. What's this build? No crit trend, full on split. We're the whole point. So we both crit now, we'll build Fam Dancer, but we just have a high amount of attack speed. So in order for Trinmer to make use of lethal tempo, uh, you have to have stick power. And, I mean, Lethal Tempo's only good past six autos, right? With the changes they made to Lethal Tempo. So you have to have a little bit of durability. And this build gives, like, super good stick and all-in. And we just get to run around the map and breach turrets. It's super fun. So it turns out after all these years... Um, Trimmer can finally last longer in five seconds. So, yeah. That right there is a Holebreaker diff. I got, what, 1,200 damage to structures from Holebreaker? And because of HP from this item and Stridebreaker, my Demolish does more damage still. And I'm so durable that Alawi just can't just turn and one-shot me. So that's kind of the point of the build. So it's kind of like the same reason that like Yasuo and Yone built like Bork Stride. Kind of same thing with Trend. Kind of like where I got the idea from, right? And then, you know, we turned it into Trend Mirask. That both saw him, so we just... My right arm is a lot Yeah, my Archaeus is so strong, man. So, instead of going after the Syndra, I knew Thresh was going to throw a Lantern, so I just went after Thresh. That way it gives Syndra no way out of there. Uh, I'm going to take one wave here for PD. So, the build is PD, and then honestly, last item? I mean, I'm going against either, you know, physical damage on both physical, da physical damage sideline. I could go Death Dance. I could go Randwins, so that the action does zero damage, and I have an extra slow. So, I have Stride Breaker and Randwin slow. I can also just go Infinity Edge at the point if I want just more damage. Um, could go Dead Man's Plate for slow resist. And have extra move speed to stick on the uh, action. I, I have so many options here to build at this point, and all pretty much good. Because I have the tools necessary to fight these two. And if he builds a lot of armor, I could go into like Terminus for armor shroud. I could go Mortal Reminder, give me that last bit of crit, and uh, the Grievous, or allow healing. 
Like, uh, this build is uh, very versatile, like, minus, like, first three items. The core is Bork Stride um, Holebreaker. If I'm against, like, double AP, I can go, like, Wit's End. But, yeah, they can't leave me here, because now I just end the game. Yeah, they just left me side lane, the Holebreaker trend with Baron. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, this is the uh, the new build. Can't wait. Yo, by the way, they're buffing Lethal Tempo next patch. So this shit's about to even be more, more broken. Oh yeah, there it is. I mean, they try to force a fight, but they can't deal with the split. Also, I mean, Kaisa being pre-fed this game, I'll self-doubt, but you know. 